What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Vertex Ghost. I'm gonna be interested. I'm gonna be introducing myself as such from now till the end of whenever my affiliation with Vertex Gaming. Maybe I won't have an end of affiliation with Vertex Gaming. Who knows? But today I have for you map two of four of the ruins of the Devastation DLC, and this map that I'm gonna cover today is called Ruins. Uh, this map reminds me of Shangri-La. I don't know if anyone played Black Ops 1 Zombies that much, but this is what the map reminds me of. So right here, I'm going to show you where the Easter egg is, or the extra XP is. It's right up here. I'm just going to shoot it, call my friend over. So he and I are running tests on this map. We're going to test out all of the cool, neat things. And I'm going to shoot my gun. He's going to come over. And then I've got about a whole crap load of gameplay with the Predator going over all of its features and how this whole system works. It's very interesting and the pre the Predator kill streak is insane. I love it. And I if I could record some live game audio of what I did to him a few times, I scared the crap out of him. I uh, pretty much freaked him out. So one of the main things to see here is you have a shoulder launch cannon and this can lock on and fire a missile and also you have heat seeking vision so we're going to go over that a little bit and also what we notice later on is um you can turn invisible with this creature if you don't run around but right now I'm, obviously i'm just experimenting i'm getting kills and there he is so i didn't realize that the whole lock on thing is different and that you did have a claw there i just figured out that there is a claw missing it because I'm sort of trying to get used to it so I get it and it's kind of like a really swift punch in the face I would have liked maybe an animation for that other than the slash maybe the claw hitting the guy in the face holding him there kind of like the knife animation except this time the knife is what's holding him maybe a bit more gruesome but that's what it is so here's a heat seeking vision and Scott just told me or the person in here just told me that dude you are invisible and I'm like what no way, you can't do that, that's not how this works, and then I realized, wait a minute, if I stand still, I go invisible, and then I thought you had to be standing still to be invisible, and then I noticed something later on is I chase him around, as long as you don't sprint while you're invisible or shoot or do anything, you remain invisible, you could walk around, be invisible, second you start sprinting or you fire your rockets or anything to that like you see he walks right by me here he's looking around doesn't notice me there now he notices me i run up and i hit the bomb things again and now i'm gonna teabag him a little bit because at this point i'm absolutely blown away by the kill streak and i'm like freaking out like oh my god this is insane so we test it out here we at first thought that when you locked onto someone you became invisible it's actually when you stand still for a period of time you turn invisible and then you could walk around like that and now here I believe is where we're gonna test out that mechanism I start I think we actually start playing around a little bit for real here where he's gonna try to kill me and there he just ran right by me and I just knifed him if you guys got live audio of that you would have heard him screaming like a little girl and probably peeing his pants which is kind of what happened the predator kill streak is crazy scary if you know how to use it you use it effectively and this is what I was trying to do here and I just stabbed him again. So this is how the skill streak works. And at the end of it, when he finally dies, ooh, does he have a sweet little surprise for you and everyone else in the map here? But um, you kind of have the concept is it's almost exactly like the Mike Myers concept. You have a different set of weapons, but you have the speed and you have the armor capabilities of a maniac. And that's what they wanted when they did this. And I don't know the exact, you know, health points behind it, but that's what it is. Also, hints for the Predator. If you are not the Predator, all you have to li li listen for is just this little clicking thing that goes on. If uh, the enemy or you are near the Predator, you'll hear a clicking on sound, like really alien, porn, kind of creepy noises, some ambience going on. And that's when you know that you're very close and at that point probably dead if you don't move away. So we notice here, as you see, we're testing it going back and forth. I'm locked in that I can move, right? And then the second I go for it, I turn, I don't, I'm not invisible anymore. And I could 
fire my rockets, and then I'm not invisible anymore. I can also move around, not invisible. And this heat-seeking vision, once it locks onto people, I believe it'll track through a wall. I'm not entirely sure. And also, as you see on screen here, there's alien writing on the sides. I believe when those flash, um, that means the enemy will be coming from that way, or from that side of the map, or something to that effect. I'm not entirely sure what that does yet. We're still testing it and figuring it out, but now here, I think we're finally playing for real, and I'm gonna... Yeah, you see, he's gonna shoot me up a bit, and I'm just gonna kill him off. But you do take a lot of damage. He just put a clip of MTAR ammo right into me, and he didn't really miss a shot. As you guys can see, I'm very red. But this is what this killstreak is made for. Other than, obviously, aggressive play, the whole point of the Predator is to be a quiet, stealthy, assassin type thing that's what this job is that's the whole point of this so i creep up on him here he turns around sees me i just blow him away and stand up and walk around again it's just this never-ending cycle and you guys are going to see this beautiful surprise when he kills me and that's going to come up towards the end here and i wish i had some audio from that too because he and i were both screaming and the predator itself makes this evil ass laugh you, you guys will see it and it's crazy it's um crazy scary and uh just the way your camouflage here you look pretty deadly now he didn't really see me until i fired the missile and i became invisible by that time he was dead i fired the rockets i'm gonna fire my rockets on this trick and he blew the hell up and it's kind of, this this is like so cool i'm in awe just watching some of the footage you guys are gonna really love this rendered out in full 1080p and then oh you guys are gonna love this this just looks so cool the amount of time in this oh it's beautiful i love it so he's just shooting pre-firing i know he's gonna be that way creep on around this is why i like to hang out i got this in a public match but i didn't do too well with it i just got shot down immediately but um i like to hang out in the middle i, I got maybe like four kills just by rotating in the middle of the map and here i'm just uh kind of creeping around him trying to go invisible here and there it is now I'm just going to creep up behind him, and I'm really playing for the whole sneaky stabby effect at the moment, and he has no idea, he's been freaking out, and I'm like, there I am, ha, you die, so I kill him, he's freaking out, he's like, holy shit, where did you come from, so now I think we make the decision for him to come kill me, and it's either going to happen here, no, it's going to be the next one that he kills me, he's going to kill me off, and ultimately we're gonna see this amazing funny troll stance that he does when he gets killed out and it's gonna happen right here you see i start getting shot i said hold on let me get close to you what if something happens and there right there the alien opens himself up and ignites a chem now scott doesn't realize it but right now the enemy is laughing the predator is laughing and it nukes the entire map People obviously are still alive there, but here's a you know, angle from Scott's screen. And it's just like a normal KM. He gets absolutely obliterated. We're all freaking out, partying. That was insane. You know, we wet, we wet ourselves. I didn't even know what I was going to do right there. That was crazy. But we're going to see you guys in map three, which is probably going to be either Collision or Behemoth. And those maps aren't quite as eventful, but there's some cool things there. So, see you in the next video as we teabag the dead predator body. And I think I get one more call on Scott to finish it off. Yes, I do. Ha ha ha. Goodbye!